Hi, Cancer. We are looking at today the solar eclipse, the, you know, the full solar eclipse on April the 8th, 2024. We're looking at what is going to be, what areas of your life will improve for you, Cancer, for April the 8th, 2024. What areas of life are going to improve for Cancer? All right. So you have a person here. So either thing's going to improve with you and this person. It could be air sign. Does it have to be? This person is showing up as air, very authoritative, very productive, um, very disciplined, very strict. Um, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Strongest energy is Libra. Um, wow, a lot of air. It's definitely Libra, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. Again, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, strongest energy, Libra. So Cancer, you could be dealing with a Libra. You also could have a lot of hot, you know, placements of Libra in your birth chart. Or this person could be strong Libra. They could have, you know, different placements of Libra present in their birth chart, okay? Wow, I do hear, I'm hearing someone's blocking the truth here. So something's going to be illuminated for you, Cancer, after April the 8th, 2024. You see the moon there? So it's like, also feels like it's getting um, smaller. I don't know why I feel that, like it's going that way, like getting smaller. Okay, guys. So the bottom of the deck, we got this two of swords. And this is the card you guys seen came out, the ace of swords. Okay, so your person definitely um, could work in law enforcement. Um, they could be an EMS. They could be, they're working in a field of help and discipline. Someone also could be in the military or has, you know, past or present military, have already served in the military. I feel like they're very strict, very disciplined. That's what I got when this person came out. Um, you're going to hear communication from this person. I do feel like you might have blocked them in the past, but I feel like after April the 8th, um, the, the areas of your life will improve is communication with this person. This person does not have to be air. They're just coming out as this energy, okay? Because they want to talk. They want to open up. They want to talk to you about something. I do feel, take it as apply. Some of you guys, um, Cancer, you could have, you may or could not have blocked them, but I do see some kind of blockage here or someone has if you didn't block them, you're undecided about them. As some of you cancers could have blocked them and other cancers, you could be undecided right now after April 8, 2024, okay? Um, feeling like you need more answers or feeling like you don't know. You could be blocking off your heart. You also could be um, feeling like you can't trust anyone too, Okay. With the blinder, so that's what I'm talking about, okay? But this guy is very truthful. He is upright. Um, he is very mature. He is a, so, I mean, well, maybe so. He's got some kind of truth to him. I was just talking about that. So I, I'm about to say the Ace of Swords. He's going to bring you some kind of truth, some kind of clarity. Definitely is coming after April the 8th. You guys are going to have some kind of truth or clarity coming in, is what I see. From this air sign, possible air sign here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. With the strongest energies being Libra. If this person wants to talk to you, they don't want you to block them no more. They don't want you to, um, like, cut them off neither. Um, they do want to talk to you and not feel so blocked off or feel so, um, like, clo you're closed off. Like, you don't want to talk to them or something. This person wants you to open up. They, they might feel you're a little too tight or not open. So, like, after the 8th. You are going to be pushed with a, some kind of decision and two of swords is at the bottom of the deck here. So that's what I'm saying. Um, you are going to be pushed with some kind of decision here. Um, cancer. Okay. And I don't know if that you, you're ready to make that decision. You could also, they're saying you could be up in your emotions a lot, right? Like, you could be feeling really um, overwhelmed about this decision to make, okay? And I feel like this King of Swords is going to end up helping you make that decision um, after April the 8th. I feel like whatever the truth is, because he, is, he does have the Ace of Swords here. I'm seeing that. And I also messed up and said the Ace of Swords or something when I was talking about him. He's very truthful. You could trust him. He's very trustworthy. Especially if I'm going to mess up and say the Ace of Swords. Literally, you can, you know, he's truth. He's trustworthy, okay? He's going to tell the truth. So, um... With this person, you will be able to let your guard down. You will be able to 
um, trust them definitely okay they are bringing truth they are not playing games like i said they're very serious they're very disciplined um they very they follow orders and stuff that's why i said they could be in law enforcement judge court lawyer um anywhere in the court or justice system is what i'm feeling you know for you guys if you are in a court of law or something like that um things are going to be going into your favor um you know there's going to be some kind of decision but it's going to rule into your favor is what i'm seeing as well cancer okay but um the message here is to just kind of open up and don't get so closed off in your emotions um, with all that water back there they keep pointing back there to me okay in April, you might feel like you need to go near water, Cancer. I've already read that, read something like that for you before. Um, you know, you you get a lot of comfort in water. Most water signs do. So that's what I'm saying. You might be drinking a lot more water in April or after the solar eclipse. You might feel thirsty. You might, you know what I'm saying? You might feel tired. You just might need a little, a lot more water. Like drink a lot of water. Make sure you're, you stay hydrated and, um, you might go towards a body of water as well because they keep pointing me towards all this water. Yeah. And I can hear it like, it, you know, like a stream. You might be going towards a stream. You might be going towards a river or an ocean. You're going, someone could be going towards a large body of water. Maybe you're, someone's going to take a picture there as well, right? Like, I don't know why I feel like that, right? Hmm. So I don't know if you're a model or something. You're very reserved and very covered here. But when I saw, I just saw like a, a woman, you know, taking a picture about behind water like this and like a bathing suit or getting in the water. I don't know if you're having a photo shoot or something. All right, Cancer. But you do have someone very serious coming in your energy after April 8, 2024. This person wants to talk to you. They have some kind of truth and clarity. Is They're bringing with them that they're going to help you make a decision here. Whatever this decision you've been stuck, stuck on, Cancer, or just, you know, scared to make a decision. Yeah, something, um, the Ten of Wands is standing out to me. Something has been overwhelming to you guys, okay? So it, it could be this decision that you have to make. And take it as applied. I left it open as... Um, a general reading for the the um, solar eclipse for April 8th, 2024. So just take it as apply, guys. This may or may not resonate, but you are getting some kind of truth or clarity that's going to help you make a decision. You won't be straddling or you won't be feeling like you need to make a choice anymore, okay? You're going to know which choice to choose or you're going to know which way to go. Okay, Cancer, that is all I have for you guys. Until next time, take care.